Now covering St. John's County, we've been telling you about it for the past couple weeks now, but in just a few days, parents, you can enroll your child in any school district, no matter where you live. Starts Monday and goes until March 10th. And 10 and now, until now, your child has to had, had to attend the school in the county where you live, but now county lines are essentially going away. So Channel 4's Bakari Savage joins us live from St. John's County. He's live outside one of the schools that will allow, allow the new students. Bakari? Scott, with this new choice, of course, comes lots of questions. We have answers. For instance, did you know that if you're already in the district, you have priority over someone who isn't? And then there's the lotto. Avery Taverna's son still has a few years before school, but she already knows what's important when it comes to his education. I'd like small classroom sizes. I'd like funding for the arts, mm -hmm. definitely, so he can explore whatever he ends up being into. Mm -hmm. And good teachers. She's happy she lives in St. John's County, where she feels the schools are among the best in Florida. Before open enrollment, a student living, say, on this side in Duval County could not attend school in St. John's County. But because of open enrollment, a Duval County student can now cross that line and attend a school in St. John's County if that school has room. Read the information that you see available to you on our website and, and look through that and, and understand that uh, open enrollment in our, our county just because of our environment uh, is limited. Superintendent Tim Forson says the frequently asked questions section on their website is great information for parents. Some of those include, will an application submitted on February 13th be given preference over an application submitted on March 10th? Applications are given equal consideration regardless of when they were submitted. And is transportation provided by the school district for those students? No, transportation must be arranged and provided by the parent or guardian. Three elementary schools and one middle school are available for enrollment. If there are more applications for a school than seats available, there will be a computer-run lottery. Forsen says they're excited for the possibility to welcome students from surrounding counties. A good number of our families and students came from other counties and even other states. Being a growing community, I think we're very open and receptive to, to recognizing that. And for the complete guide to the school of your choice or to get your kid enrolled, just go over to our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live in St. John's County, I'm Macari Savage, Channel 4, the local station.